Hey everyone, um, so I discovered a new fun technique uh, that I've seen a few artists use um, but not so much in Tilt Brush uh, and I wanted to share this with you today. Um, so I'm, I discovered that I'm using a 3D live scanner application via Android phone I'm using a Google Pixel 2. Uh, it's called 3D Live Scanner. You can just uh, search for it in the Google Play Store. I'm not sure it's available for um, Apple products though. Uh, but I know Apple products has some actually pretty superior 3D scanning uh, applications uh, available for that uh, phone itself. Uh, but I'm using an Android phone. This is what I'm working with. It's not the prettiest, but it's very interesting and kind of can create really cool environments, um, you know, for your tilt brush artwork. Uh, so for this purpose of this video, I'm scanning my living room. Uh, there's a bunch of applications you can see on the right side of the screen that you can download. Some are paid, some are unpaid. Uh, this area right here is a picture of where your models go in the application for 3D Scanner. You hit the share button and then basically you can extract your um, files as a folder and upload them to whatever backup system that you use. I use Google Drive. Uh, once I you know, have that in my Google Drive, I open it onto my computer. It is a zip file, so you do have to extract um, the files itself. So when you do that, you're going to go into the file, or the folder, I'm sorry, and extract all. I'm going to save it in the same spot. And then you can see that I have uh, the files I need to put this into Tilt Brush, the 3D scan I made. Uh, so you need three files to do this. You need the OBJ, the MTL, and the PNG. Uh, I create a new folder just to keep things organized. Uh, just naming it new model and I'm going to add uh, the OBJ file first doesn't matter what order MTL and then the PNG that contains all the colorful uh, image captures of all the objects in your 3d model um, you don't need those two last files I'm not sure what they do um, I'll do a follow-up video to find out but they don't they're not required for tilt brush um, so once I have everything in a folder I go into my tilt brush folder and I'm going to add the model that I scanned to my media library. I'm just going to drag and drop in there. And once we're in there, we're going to jump right into Tilt Brush. And I'm going to show you how I load this up just to kind of show you how it looks. Uh, like I said, it's not a pretty model. Uh, it actually has some really obscure and abstract uh, imagery because it's 3D scanned with a phone, <laughs> uh, which I kind of quite enjoy. Uh, so right now I'm just kind of searching for the model. Um, it doesn't recognize the folder name. Um, I didn't change the file name. So uh, here is my 3D scan uh, that I took with the 3D scanner application. This is my living room uh, in my office area. Like I said, it's very obscure, abstract, and weird. I kind of just was playing with it a little bit. Uh, it's nothing too serious. Um, but here is a video of um, how it actually looks when you can kind of move around the space a little bit. Uh, I didn't add any add any artwork to it. Um, I didn't add any additional brush strokes. I just kind of want to do the raw 3D model to see what it would look like to kind of go through the space. Um, and you know it has a really interesting effect. I did duplicate the model multiple times. It kind of did um, you know a model within a model just to kind of see what I could do with this with the forms and the imagery. Um, but I plan on going back and using this application to play with uh, doing more structural models and maybe more accurate um, captures. Uh, but like I said, I discovered this today. I wanted to share this with some people that may want to use this and play around with it. Um, it was a lot of fun to try to scan things. Uh, singular objects was difficult to scan. I believe this application is very much made for only um, doing room scans. Hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and check out 3D scanner apps on Google Play.